Today I'm going to show you how to install a bathroom mirror like this. Let's do it. First I need to find out where the stud is. I get a stud finder. Move it across the wall and find out where the stud is. And then after that I put a mark on it. Put another mark on the wall. And now I know exactly where the stud is. Continue sliding it along the wall and mark all the stock and that's where I'm going to put nail or screw into it. Here is another mark. Here's the uh, JMO mirror mount rail I bought from Home Depot and the mirror I bought was around 56 inches and this one doesn't come that size so I have to buy a longer one which is 72 inches. Here I'm going to leave a half inches from the wall that's where the mirror stopped there and also another half inches uh, to the edge make it even look so put a mark on it and next I'm going to do is to cut that to the right length before I screw this into the stock and also the pre-drill hole from the rail doesn't match it with the uh, stud so I have to drill hole through the uh, rail myself here you see it this is what I'm talking about the hole doesn't go through where the stud belongs to so I have to mark on the rail with a marker and that's where I'm going to drill a hole uh, so it will go through the stud instead of just into the sea rock. They are marked and uh, ready to be drilled. Before I start drilling hoses, I need to cut the rail to the right size of the mirror and measure the length of the mirror. So I put a mark on the rail and that's where I need to cut. First I use a smaller drill bit to drill a pilot hole before I put a bigger hole on it. That was the first one. This is the second one. The metal is pretty hard to drill through, it's good stuff. This is the third one, which is the last hole I need to drill. With the pilot hole there, now it's easier to get a bigger drill bit and drill the right size of the hole for the screw to go in. Continue for the second hole. The 
And finally, the third one, which is the last one. So finally, it's cut and put it against the wall and I align it. Uh, make sure that it matches with the mark I put on, half an inch on each side. Then I check on all the holes I drill and make sure that it aligns in the middle of the stud. Next is to drill a hole on the wall into the stud. So I carefully put the rail against the wall and first use a smaller drill bit to drill a pilot hole uh, through the wall into the stud. Yeah, I'll do the same hole again because the first time when I drill it, the drill bit wasn't long enough to go through the stud. It only goes through the wall now. It's going through the stud and make it longer. I'm drilling another pilot hole using a small drill bit. Here I put a masking tape on the drill bit. That's the drill bit I use for the side of the screw. And I use the screw here and see how it measures the exact length of the screw. Because I don't want to uh, drill too much into the stud and wasting uh, energy and time. And here there is exactly the same length of the uh, screw. After the holes are drilled, now I can put the screw in to secure the rail into the wall. I use the screwdriver instead of using the drill to put the screw in because I don't want to over tighten it and it will deform the metal. I'm putting in a second screw here. Okay, finally put in the last one, the last screw put in. Now the rail is all secured by the screw against the wall. Next thing is to put the big mirror on top of it. When you carry the mirror, make sure at least there are two people holding it. One on each side and with your gloves on because it's very important. If the mirror breaks, it will cut your finger into half and it will be bleeding a lot and end up going to the emergency room. So uh, make sure safety is number one. And then here I'm carefully put the mirror on top of the small rail and align it. And then I have uh, the other person to push the mirror all the way to, to uh, the edge that I set close to the wall. The masking tape I put here it helps to hold the mirror against the wall so it won't come down. Next I then get this uh, mirror clip put it on top of the mirror. That's what it does is to hold the mirror against the wall and it comes with a screw also. So first I need to mark where the hole is with the screw and then I use a uh, same thing with a small drill bit to drill a pilot hole in the wall. Now I can put the cl plastic clip on top of the mirror to secure the mirror with the screw on it. And I put the screw in with a screwdriver instead of using a drill 
because the mirror it can't be too tight with the plastic clip and you may crack the mirror and break it so don't be too tight just tight enough that it will hold the mirror I repeat the same step on the other side only need two for me because the mirror is not that big and same thing I make a mark a hole on the wall and use a pilot hole drill through uh, the sheet rock <laughs> Then I put the plastic clip on top of the mirror, put the screw through the holes, and then use the uh, screwdriver manually screw it in and make sure not over tighten it, but tight enough to hold the mirror on the wall and so we won't fall down. Double check to make sure it's all secure and tight. This is how you can put in your bathroom mirror yourself without paying anyone like two or three hundred dollars to put in. It's pretty simple and easy and that's how it look like. Thanks for watching and please hit the like button.